Yo, it's Destructo, we're raw. Hey, uh, I got something. Uh, I know you guys might see it, but I had a, uh, a comment a while ago. You guys know Destructo's not the brains of the outfit here, but I did something somehow, some way, right? I lost track of whoever whoever started this, but it started out. If you know who you are, uh, let me know because we got something cool. It's backdrop. Uh, a while ago, I I don't remember how it started, but I had a comment uh, from I don't even know if he's a subscriber, uh, but. Long story short, guy brought up the uh, three to uh, excuse me two to one uh, ratio of water to ballistic gelatin, and uh, coincidentally, I think it was next weekend. Uh, who cares about the time frame, right? But I tried it out, and I was surprised, big time. Because I was expecting some kind of two to one penetration. Well, Golden Sabres is supposed to penetrate, uh, I think it was uh, 15 and a half inches or something like that in FBI ballistic tests. <laughs> uh, but I only had two jugs of water. I figured, hey, we'll blow it up and uh, see if we can't find it downrange, right? It stopped in the second one. So, of course, respectfully, I called the BS. On the guy was a hundred percent stand up. Hey, look, destructo. It was third hand. Uh, I don't know this for a fact. It may be two and a half to one. It may be uh, some kind of different ratio. Um, but I'm just telling you, the water to ballistic gelatin ratio stands there's some kind of ratio somewhere and someone else was expert and uh, so I said hey look I got an idea uh, birthday's coming up so instead of you know being uh, selfish I got myself uh, got myself uh, presents for testing. Check it out. I'm going to test in series, I think, of uh, a series of two or four, depending on how it goes. You'll see in a second. On my two uh, most popular carry calibers. One, it's always in my pocket. It's a 38 special. And two, uh, you know, it's one of those three calibers for the Desert Island. Uh, 45 ACP. All I need in life is love and a 45. I'm not kidding on that. Um, I feel lost with either. Uh, without either. Don't tell Mrs. Destructo. She'll think I'm all getting soft in my old age. But it's the way it is. So let's take a look real quick at the box of awesomeness. That might be the title of this. I think that's a good one. Box of awesomeness. <laughs> but let's see if I can't figure this out, right? You see there, we got a box of 38 specials plus P. And 45 ACP. Now, I have it in MagTech, which is going to be against the Corbon DPX. Both are non lead um, and remind me of a muzzle loading Sabbat or a shotgun Sabbat round. It is a total copper uh, hollow point. And 
So we're going to test those two out. Uh, let's see if I get it. I got Winchester bonded. Uh, what the heck are those called again? I got to get a closer look here because I can't read. There you go. And I'm probably going to test those out. Uh, by the way, those Winchesters, in my opinion, are the ones that used to be called Black Talon. They're no longer black, and uh, but they <laughs> and they are no longer called Black Talon. Uh, next. Oh, I'm going to probably put those up against the Spear Gold Dot. I think uh, Winchester uh, and Spear Gold Dot are probably the most uh, popular uh, as far as law enforcement uh, testing is concerned. And the Winchester PDX. Uh, sorry, I had a brain fart. I didn't finish my sentence like probably two or three times, but it's the Winchester PDX line. Uh, you know, in my opinion, when we we, we uh, take them out for ballistic testing, maybe I'll pull out a uh, a black talon to show you the the resemblance. And then my favorite, uh, I might be a little biased on this, uh, as uh, nothing fancy like saying brand myopic. Uh, I'm a I'm a rented uh, Remington Golden Saber guy. Uh, last time we did some ballistic tell. Uh, Hmm. Try to talk like a like a uh, human here. A, uh, last time we did ballistic testing, uh, Remington Golden Saber and Corbon uh, uh, DPX were tied for first place. Uh, the thing that did it for me, uh, Remington Golden Saber was 25 rounds in a box, and they were about five bucks cheaper per box. Well, guess what? Remington now is calling Golden Sabres uh, the ultimate home defense. Uh, they repackaged it, uh, same bullet, same same, uh, but we'll be testing those against, you got it, uh, the Hornady Critical Defense. Uh, I'm really digging this. Uh, the Box of Awesomeness, guys. Let's get my ugly face back in the picture here. Hey. That's coming up. Got to get my boy K9 Jimple. Now, here's the thing. You got to realize, I got to get the crew together to help me out with this. Uh, Mr. H, who's on vacation, uh, K9 Jippo, we're busy. Uh, we're doing our thing. Uh, but, man, you figure. I'm guessing most of these rounds are going to be caught in a second jug of water. All right. Well, how many rounds are we going to test um, per caliber? It is uh, three a, a good average? Average means uh, when we're talking about groups, uh, three uh, is is the um, uh, Average means you usually throw away your best out of out of five. You throw away your best and worst out of a five uh, to count for flyers, right? So you take your best for your uh, average means of group size, right? Maybe we'll do uh, three uh, three shots, and we'll take the average mean for expansion. Uh, we'll try to figure out uh, a way to gauge depth. Uh, I don't know if that's only possible, uh, but Let's take this into example now. Threes. By caliber specific, we already know I'm going to break it up into two manufacturers by two calibers. That's uh, two by two is four, and four by uh, three is 12. That's 12 jugs of water minimum uh, that I'm going to have to carry to the range each and every time. Average, uh, I think it's like uh, 80 or 90 cents uh, for a jug of water, and you'll figure it out. 
uh, I'm not going to figure that out. So even if we round it up to a buck, uh, you know, we're talking twelve dollars just in water uh, minimum that I'm going to blow up. Not including now. Make sure Mrs. Destructo ain't got the bug out. You know what I mean? She's got the the ear out. You know. Hey, seriously, you gotta take on average twenty to twenty-five dollars a box for that ammo. And DPX was way up there, but twenty twenty-five dollars a box of that ammo. We already know. One, two, three, four, five, six different manufacturers by two calibers, right? Don't rat me out, boys. Uh, so, when we're talking about this, uh, I'm going to do my best to bring you uh, a financially burdened uh, test, we'll call it. Uh, an evaluation from the guy Destructo. Hey guys, I hope you like it. This was raw. Uh, I don't, I don't make uh, lists up. Uh, I don't do um, talking points. Uh, now I appreciate you guys that do, but man, I'd rather have a conversation. Uh, than uh, to have someone read uh, literature for me. I can go to a website and find out the specifics uh, a lot faster. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm trying to, I'm bringing a different style to you guys. Let me know. Uh, you know, like I, I appreciate <clears throat> if I mess up, uh, for example, uh, when I did my Shemp Rock, yep, Shemp Rock review. A lot of guys wanted some some details. Hey, Destructo, does it have a flat grind versus a hollow grind? Yes, it does, and that's the reason why I wanted this Shemp Rock. I don't want no freaking hollow grind. I want a flat grind. Uh, it makes it easier to sharpen for me. I can get it on uh, the sharp maker and and bring that freaking thing stupid stupid sharp. Uh, you know when we're talking about shaving. You have usually you have to have a cant. I can not only have a zero cant shaven, uh, but I don't even have to touch my skin. Uh, and that that thing with a flat grind, a VG10 with a flat grind, it'll pop hairs. But ah, my buddy K9 Jippo is going to get all mad and say, "Hey, dude, you're getting off on tangents again. Don't make the video so long." K9, sorry, buddy. Uh, I probably wasted an extra three minutes there. But hey. Really, I'm going to need your help. We're going to have to get the crew together uh, and, and do this because I got some test and eval to do. I'm going to give you guys um, my best opinion afterwards. If uh, I find something better than the Golden Sabres of yesteryear, which is now uh, Remington's... Uh, ultimate home defense I'm gonna tell you uh, and we're gonna go from there but we're gonna take a couple things cost we're gonna take um, bullet performance uh, reliability if it if it jams in in a gun uh, even if it's my gun you're going to know this uh, and be able to hey look that's something I have to look out even though it's the, the cheapest bestest most awesome performing thing ever it's the awesomest uh, ever hey jammed and destruct those maybe I should look out and actually buy a few extra uh, boxes of ammo to bet my life on that's what we're coming at hey guys I hope you like the raw video real quick getting it done destructo out appreciate it